Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial and I really wanted to keep it quite soft and matte and kind of like peachy orangey so that's what we're going to be doing today. So I was searching through my eyeshadow palettes and there was only one where I could find the colors that I wanted. I'm not going to really um, show the palette much, but I will be using these three shades across here and then the other shades I'll be using from other, other palettes, but these are the colors that I really wanted to use for this look. I went through all of my other palettes and everything is too brown, everything is too pink, and these ones in the Violet Voss palette are like the perfect shade, unfortunately. I'm going to be going from lightest to darkest, so if that kind of helps you guys out a little bit, that's what I'm going to be doing. I also have the Too Faced Peach palette as well, and I was thinking of maybe using like a highlighter shade or something like that from it. But for the time being, we are going to be keeping this as matte as possible. So I have already done my eyebrows and primed my eyes, because we've seen that 10 thousand million times that made no sense so let's just move straight onto the eyeshadow okay so I am going to start with the lighter shade and I'm pretty much gonna pop that all over so through the crease over the lid and then I'm going to blend it out as much as I can so to blend this color out I am taking a large large ish Morphe pencil brush and I'm just going to start by patting that pretty much all over so tomorrow is the day I get my tooth removed and I'm literally having a mini panic attack on the inside and then it'll be like a full-blown panic attack when I get there but I am not looking forward to it at all I'm really nervous I don't know if you guys know this about me but the dentist is the one thing that I physically cannot handle unfortunately my anxiety makes it really really hard for me to go um, but sometimes I just have to kind of force myself to go because it's safer for myself if I just go okay and then I'm just gonna get a clean Morphe blending brush and I'm just going to buff out the edges and all that sort of stuff I just realized that this eyeshadow is taken off my base why am I surprised Okay, this color has like literally disappeared. Okay, well I'm going to attempt to go in with the deeper shade now. See how this goes. I'm just gonna pop this darker orangey shade through my crease. I haven't not used these shadows in a very long time, but I don't remember them being this terrible. They just don't want to stick to my eyelids. Okay, so those shadows are seriously not doing it for me. I, I'm literally not surprised, but I'm gonna go in with the Modern Renaissance palette now. I think I'll go in with Raw Sienna and then Burnt Orange, and then I'm also gonna go in with this darker color um, on the end, which Regal. Real gal, whatever. And I'm actually going to pop that darker color just through my crease. So I'll start with these two and then I'll move on to the darker one. Then just going to take some of the raw sienna shade and I'm going to use that to blend out the crease. Okay, so I'm just going to take the palest concealer I have, which is the Dermacol makeup cover, and I'm going to pop a little bit of that on my eyelid and I'm going to use that to cut my crease and I'm just going to use a really tiny amount. All 
Alrighty, I'm then just going to go in with the Tempura shade, whoop, that one right there from the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm just going to go over all the other concealer that I've just popped down. I'm then just going to go back in with that really tiny pencil brush with the darker shade. I'm just going to kind of bring that color back a just like a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I can't speak. I'm just going to take a little bit of the burnt orange shade and then I'm just going to run that through my crease one more time just to make sure everything blends really nicely. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm actually really, really liking it. I'm not going to be doing any eyeliner, but if you would like to, feel free to go ahead and do that now. But I'm just going to move on to my face, and then we'll come back to the rest of the eyes in a little bit. So for primer and foundation today, I'm going in with these two right here. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer, and then I'm going to be pairing that with the Peach Perfect Foundation, and I have mine in the shade Light Beige. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm going to go straight in with concealer and today I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal and I have mine in the shade 20 Light. I'm just going to pop this all over. So now that I have all of that down, I'm going straight in with my Too Faced Ethyl Setting Powder and I'm just going to use this to bake underneath my eyes and set majority of my face. And then I'm going to be going in with the Fresh and Flawless Powder from Astralis in the shade Deep Natural just to kind of bring back a little bit of colour. Okay, so I have finished powdering my face. I have wiped off all of the bake and we're gonna move on to the lower lash line now. So with that medium pencil brush, I'm just gonna go straight in with raw sienna and I'm just gonna run that from inner corner to outer corner. Okay, so for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with the Luscious shade from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It's just this really beautiful champagne-y pale kind of color, and I thought that would kind of look quite nice. Um, I am going to use a very tiny brush to apply it, and I am going to wet my brush as well, so I'm just going to give that a little, little spritz. I am going to drag it a little bit down my lower lash line because that's where I want the main focus to really be. And then with the leftover, I'm just going to pop it very gently on my brow bone. 
Okay, so for bronzers, I'm going to go in with two. I'm going to use one to contour and then also I'm going to use one to bronze. So the one to contour, I'm going to use the Ciate London Palm Island bronzer. It's just more of a muted tone. It's not too dark for my skin tone. I'm then just going to go in with the Hula bronzer after that to bronze up my skin. Okay, so for highlighter, I am going to go in with two, purely for the fact that I just really want to. Um, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold, and then I'm going to go in with the Ciate London highlighter in the shade Starburst. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline one first. I just realized I have not put mascara on my lower lashes. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. And I'm just gonna pop a small amount on. Okay, so I'm going to do an ombre lip and I'm actually gonna do more of like an orange, very pale nude kind of lip today. So the first color I'm gonna go in with is this really crazy bright orange right here. And this is from the Shen XO palette in collaboration with BH Cosmetics or BH Cosmetics in collaboration with Shen XO, whatevs. Um, and this is her original palette. So I'm gonna go in with that orange shade and then I'm gonna find a really pale nude to pop that right in the center, but I will show you that when I find it. Okay, so to go over the top of this, I found the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Melted Nude. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on my pencil brush and just pat it in the middle so this isn't as intense. Okay, so I just ran a little bit of brown mascara through my eyebrows and that was the one by L'Oreal. Um, I'm just going to set my makeup now because we're pretty much done and I have lipstick all over my teeth. Ew. Okay guys, and that is the completed look. I am really loving it. I feel like it is very soft and still quite glam. Um, obviously, I didn't apply false eyelashes, but that is something that you can do if you would like. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. Hopefully, I will be back very soon. I am pre-filming some videos today, so the next video I film after this one, obviously, I'll still look the exact same, um, but I will be doing another video after this. Um, pre-filming just a little bit because I don't know when I can film again because I'm getting that tooth removed. I don't really don't want to do it. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.